Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to go over the SEMrush Keyword Manager. This is a very small little tool in SEMrush when it comes to keywords overall, but I want to start with this first before I dive deeper into actually getting keywords that you can rank for, simply because it's going to be nice to kind of keep a list of them so you don't need to go back and say, crap, which one did I want to rank for, what did I want to write for, and so on and so forth. If you want to follow along, I will leave a link in the description. SEMrush does come with a free trial. Let's begin. So with the Keyword Manager, you can collect your favorite keywords across Across SEMrush, save your findings, get fresh metrics, and export your findings into an Excel SX or CSV file or other SEMrush tools. The cool thing about this is that you can utilize these with other main sections of the keywords, which I'll show you. So for this, I'm just going to create a list, something like juicy keywords. Okay, let's say we we're doing keyword research. Let's click on create list. Let's just say that I create this list and when I do my research, I'm gonna be coming across keywords that I think I should write an article about. Maybe they have higher volume, maybe there's not a lot of people ranking for them. So I wanna get those really quick wins. That's what's gonna be going into this specific list. So now that we have that, let's click on to say keyword overview. And what I'm gonna do is just type in a seed keyword here that I know has a lot of keywords. Let's go with Shopify, click on search, not enter. Okay, keyword variations, we're, we're looking at 291,000. Like I said, they have a lot. Uh, let's actually click on view all. And I'm gonna do other videos when it comes to more and deeper keyword research. I'm just gonna show you how to quickly use this aspect when it comes to keyword manager so that you can save some of the best keywords. So for example, if we're going for some of the easy wins, let's go to very easy. Keep in mind, this is the difficulty and it's not always going to be that way. I can do a separate video about this in my SEO career or lifetime, whatever you wanna call it. I've noticed that a lot of times there's gonna be some keywords that rank or say, quote unquote, they're very hard to rank for and they've been easier to rank for. On the other hand, I've seen keywords that are said to be easy, quote unquote easy, and they've been a little bit more challenging. So take it with a grain of salt. It's overall a good ballpark metric. You can use plenty of other metrics or like what I like to call your SEO awareness or your SEO instinct just by looking at the top 10 ranking. Are there big authority sites there? Do I have a lot of backlinks going to these specific pages? Are there new websites? That's always a good thing. If new websites are ranking, if affiliate websites that are new are ranking, if you see a lot of like Quora and other different types of forum posts. That's usually a good sign because those are easier to rank and so on and so forth. But let's scroll down and let's say we're going to look for just some keywords that maybe we can write about. Even though the volume is low, the volume isn't always going to be correct. Once again, it's a ballpark. I've had plenty of keywords where they've said it gives zero traffic and I can assure you I get a lot more than zero traffic from some really good long tail keywords. Either way, kind of going non down. Pietra versus Shopify. This is good because of the intent is going to be commercial. Any type of verses is going to be something good. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, 70 looks like it's going up. Eight, your chance to start ranking new pages. Overall, let's say we could look into that more. But if I like that, what I can do is click on that for the check mark. Okay, something else. Shopify membership. Let's see, broadcast Shopify theme. Let's say you know about that. Like you can write about it. Maybe someone needs some more info. A broadcast theme Shopify, that's also very similar. Just the words are flipped around, of course. So I'm gonna check that off. And let's see, look for, don't wanna look for a director salary. CS cart versus Shopify. That could be another good one because once again, consumer or commercial, excuse me, someone looking to buy something where they compare it and what's gonna be the best version. Pretty simple stuff. But once we know the ones we want to select, since they're highlighted or checked off, what we can do is go to add to keyword list. And of course we have it right here under our juicy keyword. So we click on this and just like that, they have been added. We can also create a new list if we want, but pretty much that's going to be the strategy when it comes to going forward and picking out specific keywords you want. This is helpful because as you continue on, you don't want to forget the ones that you highlighted or like if in case you wanted to write them down, maybe that was an option. This is just going to make your life so much easier. So we can actually go back to that. We have our keyword manager. So if I click on juicy keywords, there we have it. It's going to have the volume, pretty much a lot of the same metrics that we talked about before and a few more last update just now and so on and so forth. So that's how you can use the SEMrush keyword manager. This is going to come in handy when you do more of your keyword research and you just want to add specific keywords to a list so you don't forget about them. And as of course you write articles for them, you can remove them and continue the process. Just a cool little tool that you can use to help save time and move yourself forward when it comes to doing keyword research. And that should do it. SEMrush does come with a free trial. If you'd like to test them out, there is a link for them in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below as well and that'll do it. Thanks again for watching. 
watching. My name is James and I'll see you in the next video.